Hello there, this is Dora Pinter with Service Star Realty. Those of you who know me, hi again. Those of you who don't, I am a co-owner of the company with David Swain, a designated broker. I'm reaching out to you today because uh, there's a lot of concern out there uh, related to COVID. And we've been getting a lot of questions since I sent you an email with Governor Doug Ducey's executive order that evictions will be halted for the next 120 days. So I'd like to bring clarification that is only COVID-related hardship where the evictions uh, will be halted. And people who are, their hardship is not related to COVID, if I can put it that way. Uh, the rent collection process will be the same and we are able to remove them from the property uh, if they don't pay rent. So everything is the same except for people uh, that have hardship related to COVID. What we are doing on our end, we make sure that we get proof of that hardship before we reach out to you. And that is um, pay stubs, bank statements, letters from employer. Um, we had one tenant that had to go to get testing done and couldn't return to work. So there's all kinds of situations out there and our plan is to be flexible and kind and listen because we believe that that is going to help you as the property owner the most. Uh, buyer confidence out there is already slowing as far as resales are concerned. And our applications, the incoming applications, really dropped off in the last couple of weeks. So we believe that the best practice is to save the current tenant, help them through the next couple of months, perhaps, until their hardship is over, especially if they're perfectly good tenants. Uh, and they are scared. They don't want to lose their home. But their hours were reduced and they need our help. So your property manager may be reaching out to you and explain the situation. But rest assured that we are asking for proof to avoid any abuse of this new policy that is out there. Courts are open and normal evictions are happening. Uh, another thing that we're doing to help you out is where we have researched several sources of government and uh, church aid, different institutions. We are supplying uh, that information to the tenants and we are strongly suggesting that they reach out and try to resolve the situation themselves. They need to get actively involved in helping themselves before we reach out to you. So uh, we're expecting them to apply for aid on their own. Um, and then lastly, we, we get them involved in suggesting when they can pay rent, how much they can pay now. Perhaps they can make a second payment mid-month. And uh, we're already looking forward, uh, forward towards May as well, have an open communication open conversation with them, make sure we totally understand their situation. It is, the goal is to get some rent, help you get uh, through the next couple of months and hopefully get the tenant back on track. Yes, rent is still due, but depending on how far behind the tenant is going to get, we don't know how much we are going to be able to collect after the payment plan um, has expired. So hang in there. We are doing our best and uh, trying to help you the most and salvage the situation best we can. Uh, I appreciate your time watching this video. I'm planning on updating you again next week when uh, on the 4th the uh, grace period for rents will end and we will have more information. Uh, our property managers are working extra hard, talking with you on the phone. A lot of people are calling in, a lot of people have questions. 
I am hoping to reduce that with this video. I will reach out to you again next Monday, as well as uh, on the 4th or 5th when we know um, how much higher the numbers are this month as far as late payers go. Also next week, the Cromford report is coming out that has information on uh, buyer confidence in the real estate market. We will update you on that too. So hang in there, you're in good hands. Uh, you have a dedicated professional property management company who is helping you and looking out for your best interest. So I will be in touch next week. Have a wonderful weekend. Thank you for watching.